Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition for Friday, March 17th. SOMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Dom. And here's what we have for you this week. Southern Maryland News submitted public information requests to nine county agencies for lists of everyone who makes $100,000 or more in Charles, St. Mary's, and Calvert counties. The results came back with 1,390 publicly paid employees who topped that amount with 750 in the school system and even 375 in the sheriff's office. In Southern Maryland's three public school systems, about 750 of the staff members across the region make about $100,000 or more, with Calvert County, which is the smallest system, has the most with nearly 300 employees with their salary over $100,000, which represents 15% of their county school system's workforce with Cal Charles County having only 8% of their employees above the mark and only 7% of St. Mary's at or above the mark as well. A group of 20 residents and community leaders on a recent Saturday morning went to Serenity, Serenity Farm in Benedict to pay their respects at the gravesite of enslaved black Americans. Franklin A. Robertson Jr., his sister, owners of the Serenity Farm led attendees on March 4th in a history lesson on the graves found at the rear of the property where an old tenant house once was. Robinson said that the, his family had not the slightest idea that there was a burial site on the property, saying, when we purchased the property, no one said, oh, by the way, there's a burial ground down there, so just be careful. After the Charles County Commissioners were briefed on a plan to use the Maryland Stadium Authority bonds for a sports and wellness center, more information about the county government's responsibility led to more questions and concerns. Danielle Mitchell, an associate county attorney, briefed the commissioners on the implications of Senate Bill 130 as a part of the board's weekly briefing on activity. A potential new bus lot and switch for bus routes are just a few of the prospects that could shape the future of school transportation in Charles County. Chief of Operations and Sports Services, Michael Helm, and the Director of Transportation, Jason L. Tolkins, spoke to the school board members on Tuesday about the system that transports some 23,000 students each year. Now turning to sports. Throughout the winter sports season, which concluded last weekend with the Maryland State Basketball Finals for both genders, male athletes from across the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference were key members of teams that contended for state titles, including Kayvon Turner, a great male senior who has had a superb season in the SMAC indoor meets, but also ascended to the head of the class in the 55-meter dash at the SMAC and region championship meets and finished second in the 3A state finals. The key for the Spartan successful run to the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference championship was because of Mia Johnson, who averaged 22.5 points per contest and twice reached the 40-point plateau in a single game. Because of this achievement, she was selected to the first team of the Southern Maryland Basketball Coaches Association and tabbed as their Player of the Year. Johnson even signed off with Shippensburg University to play women's basketball. That's all we have for you on the Friday, March 17th edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Caleb. And I'm Dom. Signing, signing off. off.